You know what? I've been to the nether. I came where I went, and I conquered. Look at that. That is... 12 and... 12 and a little bit stacks of nether quartz. 4 and a bit stacks of glowstone. I think I'm set. I don't really need to go back to the nether for a while. And now I have stuff to put in this chest. <laughs> there we go. Ella, if you haven't been able to tell, I'm playing in the new snapshot today. Um, I was actually going to play in last week's snapshot, but the inventory was all messed up, but I didn't like the clicking. So uh, it's a little bit fixed this week. There's still a little bit of lag between clicking something and when it'll pick it up, I think, that I'm noticing, but uh, it's not it's not that big a deal. So, I also don't have a home for ghast tears. Uh, I think I'm going to put these in with blaze rods. Although, really, given their scarcity, they'll probably just go right into potion making. So, yeah. Let's put these, put everything away here. There we go. Uh, now what I want to do today is I've actually had something that I keep putting off, keep putting off, given this storage room. I want to build a wither skeleton farm, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen today because uh, I want to try out some of the new snapshot stuff. But the wither skeleton farm, what I was planning on doing in the nether was just going to another fortress and uh, building like my uh, blaze farm so the piston the tiered pistons will push everything down and instead of uh, holding everything it's just gonna suffocate everybody suffocate all the wither skeletons and blaze and skeletons and stuff that fall in uh, because this is gonna lead me onto this so that's what we're gonna do this ravine is referring to here but uh, you know what I really want to do something with this daylight detector so I think we're gonna do that up in the village today so I'm gonna get some materials together and we'll go up to the village all right so we are up here in the village the expanding village there's a zombie somewhere but these guys don't seem to care. Is there two? Yeah, there's still only two. Okay, so I think we're gonna build this right about here. I think. Just off to the side of this main square. Uh, now I'm not really sure, I wanted to do some experimenting. What time is it? Just past noon. Okay. I think that this, you build this like this. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh no, hang on. I need some slabs. Oh, that's awesome. We're going to build a couple of these. Because you know what? I'll probably use them. There we go. we got some daylight detectors. Now, I've looked at these briefly. It's got to be way up. Let's go up here. I want to see these the signal strength these things have at different times of the day. Apparently it varies from about 5 to 15, from what I understand. So we're going to have to utilize that for some kind of clock. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So. No. Wrong. I knew that. I knew that wouldn't power. Uh, we'll just do this. So it's going down, obviously, <laughs> as the sun goes down. And do we have an SL value? The block lighting is 7. Hmm. I just want to find out if, it, if at night it goes down to 5, because if we do a clock, we want... Uh, at night time, we don't want any lights on, I think. And then, during the day, we'll just have it sort of go around in a loop as the signal strength increases. And then it'll come back down. It's not going to be like a v really fancy 
clock, but we'll sort of make it work. In the meantime, I'm going to go lay a foundation in the village, which I think is over here. Uh, let's get some stone. We'll go down here. Okay, you guys have got to get out of the way. So, we'll go two blocks back. Dude, move. And as always, double doors to maximize villager interactions, I think. We'll do that. One, two, three, four. Oh, this rain is gonna interfere with testing. Okay, another thing is I don't think the clock is gonna work in the rain, which isn't a big deal. And that's mossy. Oh, stone bricks, there we go. Okay, so we'll come up here. I'm gonna do like a little tower thing. I'll put windows in after. Double doors like that. And then, we're not gonna go too high. I think about six blocks will be high enough because we wanna, I wanna still be able to see the clock. Uh, so we'll go two more up. Now, I don't have stairs on me, do I? I don't think I do. No, so. Let's make a crafting bench. Ah, love doing that. You just click and drag. It's so much. It's so awesome. So we'll get some stone brick stairs. Pick it up. Click and drag. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay, I guess I got all of them. So this is going to extend out by one. Uh, like this. I hope that worked. Uh, like this. Like this. And like this. And coming around again. Like so. And like that. Okay, let's see if that worked. Okay. Hopefully that's enough space. I didn't actually didn't actually think about that. Can I get some of these vines? With soap touch? No, I need shears. Do I have any iron or anything up here? I don't think I do. Oh, shears. Perfect. Exactly what I need. This rain is annoying. Oh man. Do I have a bed up here? No, but I have the materials. I'm gonna sleep and hopefully this rain will go away. Oops. I think I do that most times I make a bed. Because I just end up making slaps by accident. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Close the door. Come on, rain. Okay. Uh, video settings, particle. Oh, what did I do? I get hit full screen. Particles, minimal. Am I still recording? I appear to be. Okay. There we go. No more rain noise. I think it's going to stop anyway. Hello, sir. Yeah. Okay. Particles off. Now, it's daytime. Let's check out this sensor, wherever I put it. Where did I put it? Over here. Yes. There we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These guys' range have increased. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. It goes up to ten. Come on. So we're here. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so let's keep going. I think it's gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. I know what to do. More or less. Uh, now. So our lamps are going to do this. One, two, five, so we have ten. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, that's easy. 1, 2, 3, 4. I think I may have to make this clock a little bit bigger. 5, 6. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Maybe we'll do it with 8. I think that's easier. Also in terms of size. There we go. So that's our clock face. Just, uh... I gotta give a bit of shape to this, I think. Okay. Sheep, go away. Uh, stone bricks. I might put... Uh, quartz, because I can, in the middle of this, sort of give it a clock look, let's fill this in, okay, so now I think we're ready to be doing our redstone, I think, again, I keep saying I think, I'm sorry, maybe we'll be using, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know how I'm going to do this. That's why there's so many new things. Now, I know I could use a comparator in a couple ways. I can't put repeaters directly into these lamps, because then the power will uh, carry through in a word. So what I think blah, blah, blah. the best way to do this is to use torches. And what I was saying with the repeaters is let's give a working platform here. Okay. If I put repeaters here, it'll power this one. So I can't do that. So instead, I'm gonna have to use my stone and each of these is going to have to have a torch that powers it. Like this. This is still okay, I think. I can still get all of these turned off. Now, this is our power. We need the daylight detector. to be five five blocks away actually can I not just put redstone behind these I know it has to be above like this will this not work how many of these are on okay so these four are on that works Um, these two might be the only tricky ones, to be honest. Because I want this to follow... I want this to follow the signals, have the same signal as the daylight detector, and not be uh, inverted. So torches, we'd have to use two torches. And I can do that to get that up there. Can I... As long as I put them up, I think that'll work. Yeah, okay, so now we got our signal decaying. And we just have two more lamps to power. Oh, so close. Okay. Has to be above. Can I get... I can get power into this block, but it's not... Right now we have a loop going around like this. Hmm. I can't, like, I'm going to have, no matter what style I do, I'm going to have a block above. I'm going to have two lamps on top of each other. So if we have this, I can get power to this lamp like that. Oh, oh, it's pointing in, that's why. It's pointing into the lamp, there we go. Can I, will, do lamps recognize signal above and Apparently not. 
but if that's pointing into that, no. Okay. I think I might have to do a trick with a repeater. I'm going to try to figure this out, and I'll be back once I get it. All right. I think I got it. Just waiting for the sun to go up here. We're coming around and around. Come on. Okay. It could be at maximum signal, in which case I just have to move the solar panel. I'm trying to figure out the best spot for it. Is it going to go up? Come on. Well, let's make some doors for it, I think. We, uh... Okay, move, bro. Uh, I need that. I need that. One. Yep. Uh, okay. There we go. I'm still getting used to all this clicking, and it's really difficult. It's good and bad. I'm, you gotta sort of learn to work with it. Okay, I think we might be at the max. It's pretty much midday, and that hasn't moved. Oh, that's weird. The doors are messed up. I think I remember seeing that, actually. So, we'll go back up here, and you can see what I've done. Oh, it signals just not making it, eh? Right. Because it take it... Yeah, it does make it, but... It, like, just... Hmm. How can I... It, it is going the full amount of blocks that it should. It's just because neither of these ones are hooked up to repeaters. Can I make these two repeaters do something? Like this? I don't think so. I... no... no, no, no. Hang on. Now that will also power. Right? So we need this wire to come up. Oh, man, is that powering another light? I can't see. No. Okay. Just, just, just. If I double... Hmm. Power comes up. I'm going to run out of... T I need to be two wires shorter. Uh, just up here for this. these last two. How can I do it? How can I do it? How can I do it? I could power this this way. And then I think no. Um the easiest I could start the signal up here. I still lose two blocks though. I think what I'm looking at though is I have to repeat this signal, period. Just where do I have the space to do it? And as soon as I repeat it, actually, I could compare it. And then that act, there we go. I'm going to use a comparator finally. Perfect. I know how to do it. So, all I need is a comparator. And we'll go back up. Really hope this works. Because a comparator should uh, keep the signal going without any decay, I hope. And I may have to move my daylight detector. One. Now will this emit if it's above? It will. Okay. Oh, that's my axe. Uh, there we go. This is really messy now for materials. The comparator still... No. No. If I'm gonna compare... I need to compare right there. Which... Ooh. Oh, these last two are... Man, they're tricky. Okay. 
So this is going to, I think if I put a torch in place of this daylight detector, that should be the full signal, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to use a torch as a placeholder for now. These, you put a wire there. Comparator. Wire. Comparator. I need one less wire in this system, and I'm set. I could count my losses. Actually, you know what? And I might and just do that. And then everything turns on. And then... That's the daylight detector now. That's at three. Problem is, is I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I think that might work. So I don't have anywhere else to put uh, a comparator to sort of maintain the signal. I gotta get one less wire between here and here and there's no way to do it. This will power this, which will power this lamp. Okay. I think I just have to call it and say that this is working. I think that's the only way to do it. Now the sun's setting, there's no lights on. Really? Why is that? Okay, yo, that no, that went into nighttime really fast. Okay, so we'll go down. I think my feather falling boots are about to break. Yeah. Pretty darn close. Unbreaking has extended them, but you know what? It's not. Okay. So we'll sleep. And all the lamps are off. And I can get back up. And go over. And oh, we got one lamp on. Okay, we're working here. One lamp on, two. The one lamp is really brief. Uh, because it's sunrise and you don't see that after you sleep. One lamp, two lamps. Come on, bring it around for three. Pretty sure the time for these going on is exponential. There's three, okay. So that's working. That is a finished project. I just gotta put a roof on it, which isn't that big a deal. So there we go. We now have another building in our village and a first project with a daylight detector. I think what I might do is uh, use some of these and run wires down into my base, like in through the storage room and stuff. Uh, those lamps on my bookshelf I think is a good spot to put like a daylight detector. I might put one in the house I built. Um, yeah, because clocks work, but they're I don't know, they're not as easy to see from a distance. Just If a lamp's on, it's daytime. If, if it's off, it's nighttime. I think that's the easiest way to tell the time. And yeah. Well, if you made it with me to the end of the video, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.